Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you what I do to sanitize plants before bringing them into this lovely room of mine with all these enclosures as to not bring in any pests or parasites or any bugs or any extra plants or any soil with them um, to protect uh, my room here and all the enclosures in it. So let's get started. So first off, after buying plants, I immediately remove them from their soil get off any soil I can just with my hands, and then I proceed to uh, rinse them off with a hose and or soak them in water as well to just get all of the dirt off. Now what this does is if there's any soil, if there's any perlite, or if there's any bugs, I mean not soil, in the soil, um, then it'll get them out and it will make sure that they do not come into my room and infest my soils because I sanitize my soil, make sure I keep everything separate. Then I bring it inside and I plant them in my soil. And at this point, they've had been all washed off and I know everything is clean. And right now, I'm just putting these in these little quarantine tubs. And um, once I'm sure about them, then I will plant them into my enclosure. But actually, the real reason why they're still in this tub is because I'm not done with my enclosures yet. So as you can see, here are the half of the plants that I uh, took out, which are um, these three plants, these little hens and chicks right here, and then here's another one. And then the other ones were also in these tubs and they were snake plants. Now the snake plants I actually put in their uh, terrarium at this point and I've had these ones in here for weeks and weeks and weeks and months and whatever. Um, and they, these all, all of these plants excluding this one um, will be going into here and I need to get this done but I just haven't had time yet. That is, that will be my bioactive leopard gecko terrarium and then this one is just a little tiny tree that I have. Um, and I'll, I'm, I think I'm gonna build a pot or I'm gonna get a pot for that. But I want like a long, like a bonsai type of pot, if that makes sense, where they're long and shallow. And then the other plants in here are just from different videos and different stuff. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one, but we'll see. I've just been building up a collection of plants and I'm going to be getting tons and tons more plants in the future. Um, probably once I get my room situated, then I'm just going to be stocking up on plants because I love plants and I want to propagate them and just get all the plants because plants are amazing. And since I'm going to be setting up this thing, I'm going to need tons of plants and it's going to be great. Um, but right now, since I have these ones here, I definitely want to get those planted in their proper terrarium before I um, explode the plant amount that I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Real simple wash them off completely. I, I think I've done this in other videos as well. And then um, just add them in and grow them in my soil. And as you can see, it's working pretty well. By the way, these are succulents. Um, I know everybody says they need like super drained and everything. They've been here for a long time and there's no drainage layer, not at all. Um, I, I don't understand the whole point of a drainage layer. Like I understand the point. I, I completely understand the point actually. Let's change that. I just haven't really ever used one and I've never had a trouble with that but maybe that's because I grow tropical plants that can literally grow in water um, but again that's probably why I'm not super great with succulents but there will be a drainage layer in the leopard geckos enclosure and I think it'll turn out pretty good so like I said I hope you guys enjoyed if you did like down below if you have any comments or concerns put in the comments below and um, subscribe if you want more content. Have a great day.